What's up, guys? Derek, moreplaythemoredates.com. Today, we're going to be talking about my first anabolic cycle. So, I get questions a lot. What did I used to run? You know, I always talk about TRT now. Most of you guys know I just use a high normal therapeutic dose of TRT. At least I try to keep myself right on the cusp of like essentially being on cycle essentially and being like on the end of the healthy reference range. In the past, I've run super physiological amounts before and the first one in particular, I feel like touching on the first one would be a good start. I did the classic 500 testy for 12 weeks and uh, you know, that's like the standard go-to newbie cycle that is, you know, talked about on the forums all the time, 500 milligrams testy. It's like the standard go-to and looking back in hindsight, that was way, way too much. I didn't need that much for where I was at. Like even now you guys, most of you guys know my TRT, it's hundred milligrams of prop a week right now, at least at the time of recording this video. It changes sometimes based on different experiments I'm doing and whatnot, but that's roughly, you know, where it's at all the time. It used to be 125 and 150 of test E, and then I changed the ester. Obviously the ester weight is uh, much lower of prop, so I can get away with a lower dose, but for the past few years, that's been all I've been using. But, you know, prior to that, I used fairly significant dosages, I would say, at least in contrast to what I'm doing now, maybe not to like an average juice head perspective, but you know, 500 test E for your first cycle is a lot and I can sustain what I have on a hundred of prop a week. So you can just imagine how much five times that, you know, it's probably overkill for a guy who's, you know, on their first run, do you really need to increase your androgen index by 10 times higher than what it normally is? Like the average male produces three to 10 milligrams of testosterone per day naturally. Uh, endogenously so pinning 500 a week like it's, pr it's pretty overkill in my opinion unless uh like i don't really see any situation that would justify 500 on a on a first cycle and i think i could have got away with let, let half of that easily and still made significant progress so that's a big uh regret i have but there wasn't as much of information available back then as there is now and there was forums but it it wasn't like it is now. And even now though, there's still so much convoluted information out there. You know, a lot of guys think 500 milligrams is nothing. And you know, in hindsight, that's a lot of gear, half a gram a week. That's like 10 times higher natural, natural endogenous production at least. And you know, it's nothing to scoff at. And if I could go back, I wouldn't have run that much on my first cycle. So anyways, that was my first cycle. Hope you guys like that quick video. Give you a bit of background on my history in terms of use and whatnot, obviously an interesting topic that uh, people would wanna know about. I've seen a lot of comments over the past few months, so I thought I would address it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplaytomoredates.com. Subscribe there, talk to you guys soon.